all please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I get a roll call? Mr. Cook? Here. Mr. Tandriano? Here. Mr. Rogan? Here. Ms. Smith? Here. Mr. Cook? Here. Somebody like to audit the bills? Sure. I'd like to make a motion to approve abstract number 17, dated September 10th, 2021, in the amount of $185,861.24. So moved. Second. Note that it is a revised abstract. Is yep. it one we approved once before? Oh. Yes, All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd um, like to make a motion to also approve abstract number 21, dated November 5th, 2021, in the amount of $421,503.37. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Somebody like to do a budget transfer? Um, we have a budget transfer number 32 with regard to recreation program personal services. This uh, budget transfer is requested to allocate additional funds for the recreation program personal service concessions account for additional costs. So we're moving $200 from recreation programs a concession expense account to recreation programs concession a expense account. So I'll make a motion to the town board in the amount of $200. I'll make a motion to the town board approve budget transfer request number 32. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Peter. All right, first on my agenda, I have EMS requests. The first request I have is uh, I have a memo here from our EMS administrator, Bobby Kearns. I'm requesting additional funds for the repair costs for ambulance 3672. Um, the repairs to the ambulance uh, were found to be extent, uh, more extensive than the estimate that we approved back in August. So. Uh, originally, we approved eleven thousand dollars for this um, for this uh, this uh, for the ambulance, and uh, it came out to twelve thousand six hundred ninety-eight dollars and twenty cents. So, uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the additional one thousand six hundred and ninety-eight dollars and twenty cents for the repairs to uh, thirty-six seven two. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Next I have, uh, we interview two uh, EMT candidates, um, great candidates. The first one was uh, Mr. Ryan Smith. So I'd like to make a motion. We have a, um, a resolution here to uh, hire him. I'd like to make a motion to uh, accept this res resolution as read, enter into the record as read, to hire Mr. Ryan Smith as part-time emergency medical technician at the rate of $15 per hour pending completion of all background searches and compliance with all requirements of the town of Patterson employee handbook. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Also like to make another motion to accept the resolution and enter into the record as read for Mr. Lewis Rodriguez to hire Mr. Rodriguez as again as a part-time emergency medical technician at the rate of $15 per hour pending completion of all background checks and so on. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next, I uh, have board interviews for appointments. So we do have uh, multiple positions on multiple boards um, open and available. We have uh, a seat on the Zoning Board of Appeals. We have two to three on the, the BAR, three openings on the Ethics Board, three openings on the Veterans Memorial Park Advisory Board, one opening on the Veterans, Veterans Memorial um, uh, for the chairman for the advisory board and two open positions for the Putt Lake Park advisory board. So we do have a couple of letters of interest. So um, we probably should set up maybe some interviews. Did you want to set up, look at, we're looking for a date? I am looking for dates. You want to send an email out and we'll check our calendars or? All right. That's the way you want to do it? Sure. Sure. Okay. I'd say the week after, uh, we should probably shoot for the week after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Start in December, you know, maybe we can line them up. Yeah. Get a couple of done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
I'll uh, shoot a couple of dates out and I'll contact the candidates. That is all I have. John. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. It's all right. Next, we have uh, a request to um, request the uh, town clerk to uh, notice a public hearing on the contracts for both of our fire departments, the Patterson Fire Department and the Putnam Lake Fire Department. So I'll make a motion uh, to ask the town clerk to um, notice the public hearings for December 8th, 2021, here at um, Town Hall. We'll discuss the, um, and anyone has questions on their budgets. So um, make that motion. And uh, again, it's December 8th for both of the um, contracts with the fire department. So, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next, we have senior request for a holiday luncheon um, on December 13th. So the net cost of the budget is $625. So I'll make a motion that the town board approve the senior uh, re Putnam Lake senior request for the holiday luncheon in an amount not to exceed $625. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Councilman D'Andriano mentioned a bunch of uh, openings on various boards, and uh, some of those are the result of the next two resignations. First, we have, unfortunately, a letter of resignation from Eric Boyers, who was on our Veterans Memorial Park Board and was the chair. And um, effective November 26th, Mr. Boyers is, uh, has submitted his letter of resignation, effective November 26th. So I'll move to accept his uh, resignation. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the next one comes from Kenneth Mead, who is on our Putnam Lake Park District Advisory Board. Uh, his effective date is November 20th, 2021. So I'd like to make a motion to accept Mr. Mead's uh, resignation, unfortunately, from Putt Lake Park District Advisory Board. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And of course, we hopefully it goes without saying that uh, both Mr. Boyers and Mr. Mead have donated a tremendous amount of time to the town of Patterson. They will both be missed, and we certainly appreciate everything that they have done for their community, for our community. And uh, those are voids that I think will be difficult to fill, but we're hopeful. So thank you on that. Uh, the next item is um, we had the bid opening on November 10th for our um, the contracts for the refuse disposal via the transfer station for garbage district number two. Uh, we have a resolution to accept the um, the bid of Oak Ridge Waste and Recycling for a five-year bid contract where the um, the price per ton goes from year one of $101.37 up to $109.50 at year five. Uh, so I will make a motion that we approve the resolution for the acceptance of the bid, as I just outlined, uh, for garbage district number two, and ask that it be entered into the record as though read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, uh, employee handbook. Back in 2019, the state legislature adopted uh, some requirements for allowing uh, public employees to take time off for uh, purposes of voting. They have since amended that law, I'm proposing that we change our employee handbook from what we put in back in 2019 to be in compliance with the new state requirements. Um, I do want to point out that I would like to make two changes to the language that you have in front of you um, in the second line. So I'll, I'll read it out. Upon written notification of not more than 10, 10 days, mm -hmm. that's another one, nor less than two working days before the date of the election, an employee that is registered to vote who does not have sufficient time. Mm -hmm. I think that flows a little bit better. In my defense, I took this straight out of the state language, so. <laughs> <laughs> so if everybody's okay with those changes, do we have anybody that wants to discuss them first? A uh, question. 
Sure. And maybe I'm missing it because you mentioned this is in um, this is in a reaction to the state making additional changes. In the original section, it says that the state allows people to take up to three hours off on election day, but we're proposing two hours. Is that a, is that should that be three and three? I, well, like I said, no, it, it, it's what the state okay. is looking at, but I will, in doing that, so I will double check that. Second to last one. I mean, uh, yeah. What's funny, with all the early voting now, it seems like there's so many opportunities for people to vote. It's just amazing that we need something like this. But, but it's also critically important that people go out and vote, so if we can, if even one employee needs it and we do that, you know. Anyone else? No, I'll just say that, you know, the last election, not the most recent one, but the last one um, with the presidential candidates, people waited on long lines, you know, to vote. True. So I'm sure it would have been helpful in that scenario. So. Sure. All right, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce this resolution uh, approving the um, change. I do have a resolution here someplace to the employee handbook and we will ask our HR consulting to make those changes to the handbook uh, subject to uh, verification that it should be two hours in the state statute and if not we will change it to three. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right next on my agenda has been a long summer with a lot of meetings with our uh, highway union. Uh, they've been very productive and, and uh, very good meetings, and everybody has now in front of them a memorandum of agreement uh, laying out the changes to the contract between the Town of Patterson and the Highway Employee Union, uh, CSEA Local 1000. Anybody had a chance to take a look at them? I know we've discussed them quite a few times during the year. Does anybody have any questions? All right, hearing none, I'd like to introduce this resolution approving a memorandum of agreement between the Town of Patterson and the Civil Service Employees Union. I ask that it be entered into the record as read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, where are we? Okay, so we've been talking quite a bit and we have some recommendations here on the Putnam Lake Park District and making some changes to section 116. Um, I can go through them or the board can uh, you know take your time and take a look at them but I'd like uh, everybody's okay to send them over to the Park Advisory Board to take one last look at. This is based on the last time we met, I had a work session and went through this, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I made those changes, you know, I made most of the recommended changes from the Park Advisory Board, not all of them. Um, I did make some modifications on my own, um, you know, just to clarify, you know, the intent of the code. So. All right, I will send them over to the Park Advisory Board tomorrow, yeah. and you know, everybody, please, you know, do a thorough review because I would like to get this thing wrapped up soon. Yeah. Great. All right, and then uh, my executive session, I will defer to the end of the meeting. Okay. All right. Um, pleased to announce that I have a. Um, interim municipal agreement with the town of Patterson and the um, town of Kent to run a youth basketball program for residents of Kent and Patterson. This will be held at the Patterson Recreation Center. So I'd like to make a motion to approve this resolution and enter it into the record as though read for to approve the intermunicipal agreement with the town of Patterson and the town of Kent for a basketball program. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, I have here um, a memo from Mr. Matt Chavarro regarding the following prices will be in effect for our youth basketball program. 
like to make a motion to approve these rates per mass memo. Uh, children ages five through six will be ninety-five dollars. Ages seven through eight will be a hundred. Children's age nine through ten will be one hundred fifty dollars per participant, and eleven through twelve will be one hundred and twenty. And children ages thirteen through fifteen will be a hundred, and sixteen through eighteen will also be a hundred. This is for the youth basketball program. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to approve the uh, the rates for these participants. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Fire departments. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Sorry. Okay. Um, do I have this twice? This resolution. We did this same thing. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Sorry. Just right. making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. So the next item is um, Putnam County Outreach Worker Contract. I have here a um, contract between Putnam County Office for Senior Resources and the Town of Patterson. This is a term of January 1st, 2022 through December 31st, 2022. Uh, the intent of this is the county would provide an outreach worker to the town upon the terms and conditions set forth herein. Um, I was going to ask council to look at um, Article 12 of this agreement. Um, do you have that? I do. Okay. We've already reached out to the county about that, so I'm hoping that we can work out the terms there. Okay. Have you heard any response from the county? Not yet, but I have reached out to them already. So um, you'd be in the best interest that maybe we hold off on approving this or table it till the next? Well, I, for one, am not comfortable with uh, the language in that, you know, Section mm -hmm. 12. It, it's a very positive thing to work with the county to provide a resource worker for our, you know, seniors and help them out with a number of different programs. But for the county to suggest that the town needs to um, fully ensure the worker that is mm -hmm. working for Putnam County, I think, is not an appropriate thing to do. Well, I think that we have our next meeting is um, December 8th. Correct. So we still have plenty of time before the first of the year to um, to get this approved. So we'll. Where, where does this worker work out of? Putnam County. The, out of their facility. Out of their facility, so they're not even in our rec center or. No, they don't come over here. They may, I and I don't know this for sure. They may go to somebody's home if requested, but there were offices in Putnam County. Okay. So we're going to table it. We're going to table it. Yes. Okay. All right. Other business. Any board member have any other business they wish to bring up at this time? I'll bring up about the uh, Patterson Recreation first annual holiday celebration, Tuesday, November 23rd at 6 p.m. We deck the halls, strung the lights, come see the wreck shine on Tuesday night. Lights, decorations, music, holiday crafts, cookies, hot cocoa, candy canes, and a man himself, Santa Claus. All for free. Come down and celebrate the start of the holiday season. So that is Tuesday, November 23rd, 6 p.m., at the Patterson Recreation Center. Be there. Looks like a great night. Wow. Okay. Speaking of the Patterson Rec Center, a lot of stuff going on down there, right? A lot of stuff. This Saturday, they are having their famous pizza night. So it'll be Saturday, November 20th. Join us for three hours of chaperone fun, including games, open gym, an arcade only twelve dollars per person includes a slice of pizza and a drink if you want an extra slice 
um, I believe it's uh, extra slice would be fourteen dollars admission open to all entering grades one through eight in September and it's from six to nine so it's a, a great drop-off program so if uh, uh, if you want a nice date night with your, your wife or a significant other you can drop the kids off for three hours and let them run around and uh, get all their energy out and then you can pick them up and they should be tired out so um, registration is online at the Patterson rec.org website also at the Patterson rec center is the holiday bazaar and vendor fair this is November 27th join us for our annual shopping event at the Patterson rec center with all you know all the stuff in the news about um, you know all these uh, ships still stuck in in the harbor and Christmas gifts not being able to be delivered this year this is a great opportunity to, to come down and buy some some nice Christmas gifts so local vendors from all over the area come to sell their specialized holiday goods crafts decorations gifts and more and they still I think there's still some vendors wanted um, it's thirty dollars per space you get a 10 by 10 space again this is Saturday November 27th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. there's also the concession available and there's more information again at pattersonrec.org And I have one last thing to add in here. In all the years that I've been doing this job, I have never yet been contacted by the New York State Electric and Gas Company about a potential rate increase. Uh, this week was the first. I was contacted by NYSEG to let me know that they are anticipating a fairly substantial rate increase this winter. Um, it is, as, as everybody knows, their rates are generally set by, by the Public Service Commission. But there is a, a provision within their rates that, that the rate that they can charge back to the consumers is somewhat determined by the energy um, commodity markets. And I'll, I'll just read this quick. Um, the energy commodity markets are dynamic. They are influenced by many factors such as weather, supply and demand levels, availability and price of alternative fuels, global markets, and most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. NYSEG and RG&E do not set control or control the com commodity markets of natural gas and electric. They are looking at substantial increases in their cost, which will be passed on to the consumer. Um, as such, they are notifying everybody that they can, and this is up on our website that anybody wants to take a look at it. Um, they are recommending that everybody start implementing energy um, saving measures, such as inspecting your heating system, insulating and sealing your home, upgrading your appliances, and turning down your temperatures, because unfortunately, uh, what they will be charging you for electric and natural gas this year is about to take a huge hit. So everybody be forewarned. Anybody else have any, uh, what is that? Fire department members. Oh, yes, fire department members. I forgot about those. Do you want me to do? Sure, oh. you can. You okay. may. Okay. So I have a resolution in front of me for the um, to approve new members of the Patterson Fire Department. We have a Mark Kobler, Dennis Keefe, Abubkar Siddique, Brian Tiller, and Susan McLaughlin. Um, to be approved and um, as new members of the Patterson Fire Department effective November 17, 2021. So I'd like to enter this resolution into the record as though read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good Aye. job. Yeah, very I, good I know, job. And I know why that you gave that to me. <laughs> we all got wait, wait, I gave it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have another resolution to approve new members of the Putnam Lake Fire Department dated November 17, 2021. And where are the names? Um, Putnam Lake Fire Department is accepted as a member of the department, Ashley Sant, 
And I'd like to enter this resolution into the record as though read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone else have anything else they wish to bring up at this time? Rich, I have a question. Um, will you be calling the Office of Senior Resources? Will you be speaking to them about the uh, contract line? It'll be an attorney. Um, would it be possible for you to reach out to Doreen Crane, the person that sent us this, and ask for a short, just a little blip summary of the services that they provided, or and if they can account for it, then for the future year? I believe that was brought up. And I'm actually thinking, Bruce, you might have brought that up last year. Someone did that we, I'm sorry? Last year. Yeah, that, and I, it unfortunately didn't occur to me until I'm reading this right now that um, we have this contract every year. I have no doubt they're providing the service, but they don't really provide us any, like, uh, highlight reel or, or you know, year end report door. that would kind of quantify or say, hey, we were able to do these things for, you know, for your contract in Patterson. That would be awesome. I can do that. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, public recognition. I would ask that anybody attending the meeting tonight, if you have any comments or questions. Uh, Bruce Major, 166 Somerset. Uh, two things. The senior lunch for December will be on Tuesday the 14th. Uh, this way you know. Uh, the other thing, uh, two meetings ago I asked uh, relative to revenue from the cell tower and I was just wondering. Correct. I did go back and I did review the contract. The, uh, the provision for revenue from the cell tower doesn't kick in until we actually get a carrier on the cell tower. As of yet, we do not have a carrier. We were anticipating that Verizon was going to be up there by now. Um, but Verizon is backed out of pretty much all the towers they were looking at in the area. So pretty much now what we have is a taking by Metro North of a property owned by the town of Patterson, seeing that they're the only ones on the tower. I would ask um, if both Sean and uh, Mary would go back and review their comments at the public hearing um, and see if what they said in the public hearing um, should have ended up in the actual contract. Thank you. Senior lunch is at 12, 12 o'clock on the 14th. Yes. Why is he looking at me like that? Huh? Why is he looking at me like that? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I ask that they look at it and then they can, that'll refresh them as to what the comments were. He was asking you a question. Oh, I asked you at uh, the senior lunch. It's yes, what about 12 noon on the 14th? 12 noon on December 14th. Tuesday the 14th. Patterson Rec Center. Yes. Thank you. I heard the food's been really good. I, I've been missing this. I gotta, uh, yeah, no, the food's outrageous. Yeah. So I've heard, <laughs> but I know Meg. Anyone else? All right, we will open it up to comment from anybody who is joining us by Zoom. If you would unmute and uh, state your name and, and your address for the record and make your comments or ask your question. Okay, hearing none, I'd make a motion to go into executive session. Thank Second. You. All in favor? Aye. Aye.